buddy we know that worked agree. down at uh, PA Groceries is this uh, worked in the exactly. meat cutting part and, and he had nothing but stories Power because the like the, dude, oh, yeah. the veterans He's were people anyway. that had like and scars and possibly and finger bits. parts gone Forever. like not entire yes. fingers but just chunks yes, of finger oh yeah and it's like, yep, Very that's well gone now. That's not that's getting not gonna grow back. Nope. Let's go get um, and, and 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 it's 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 insane time. because it's just like it's you. They know better than anybody. But there's just these up moments of absent mindedness. My favorite one is we had this. Uh, not sure if it was Polish or Ukrainian, but he was definitely Eastern European. His name was Yuri, working in the butcher shop, right? And Yuri was. 50s, maybe early 60s. Old, old Eastern European guy. Mm. The big accent, doesn't speak English or French very right. well. Real, is always happy and smiling. Seen some shit, right? He's a just jovial kind of guy, us. right? And um, well, we can't stand around and Frank, the manager, it. he says uh, he notices that Yuri so is in do do? agonizing pain all day, right? He's I like, "What, well, Yuri? What's I wrong?" He's like, "Ah, us, my teeth." It's like. Well, what is oh, it? And he, you know, he just po it pokes in, you. and even from a look, a he can see that it's, it's wisdom no, teeth have no, completely come in and fucked Hello? up his whole mouth. My name right? is Gabriel. Right? He just doesn't go to the dentist. Yeah. Right? Somebody his teeth are otherwise immaculate, other than he's anyway, like, Yuri, your wisdom teeth are fucked. To to the ambulance, you so have to get those taken out. And he goes, Oh, okay. And he walks over and picks up one of the meat pliers and just yanks all four of them out of his head. Just, just pop, pop, oh, pop. Oh man! And he goes, I'll "Oh, it. it feels much better." You can't. And he's like, <laughs> "Gushing <laughs> blood, uh, like, like full bloody mouth, like having to swallow." Not yeah. even like a vodka. Fucking and then he goes to wash his hands. Oh man! And puts the apron. And Frank's like, "The fuck are <laughs> you doing? So you, this you have to go <laughs> home. <laughs> you just go make a super weapon." Uh, you don't get to. What the well, fuck is wrong with you, Yuri? I don't go back to get him handling food. It. You have the day off. Go well, home. I'm going but, to the, but the I food needs to, to be handled. Go to the dentist. I'll work both shifts. Oh, fuck. Like, He's just, out there oh, all man. by himself. Yeah. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. That's how that's how the that's how we all get the My shit. My dad did that. He blew out. up his finger now. and was gonna take a cab. That's how No, we... he was gonna drive himself. Of course he was. He exploded yes. his finger in another <sighs> still I mean there's he something admirable and noble about the, the old grab? school. What is up with that generation? Why are they so much tougher than we are? Ridiculous. I went to the hospital because I couldn't take a shit, my tummy anywhere. hurt. Yeah. Yeah. I'll see you at It's Soren's, just it's right? just the nature of the work you do Not means you're you you're getting hurt more often, so I like a lot more often. The pain threshold gets higher. Builds character. Yeah, literally. Well, also the like when you get all fucked up to a degree, you understand you go that was really horrible what happened to me, right? But it didn't kill me. So now I can establish that something that horrible won't kill me. So you Wait, kind of is it, it. wait hold on. Was that intro that or outro? Intro. That was intro. <laughs> Did you tap another button? What do you mean? We're 32 minutes in. How yeah. is this giving us a title card? Yeah, I don't know. What the fuck? Anyway. Um... Jesus Christ. Don't worry about it. I, I, I am worried. Don't worry about it. No, um... I didn't particularly dawdle at any length on that. The one you always gotta watch out for is when you're when someone's using like the bandsaw or the, or, or, or the um, you know the machine press to like uh, you're slicing like a like let's say a piece of wood down the middle and they're and they're going down with both sides on each side and then as soon as they completely separate the two from each other they go flying apart and your hands fly apart yeah and now your face is going down into the blade that's a bit much shouldn't do that don't do that. Also, I've I've had personal experience with this. Everybody out there, all you young folk, or or even folks that are at our age that have not actually done this yet, you're dealing with super glue or epoxy, and that says to wear gloves. Oh my god! And you say, "Oh fuck it, I'll just be careful." Oh my god! Fucking wear gloves. So the funny thing about that is, if you use super glue in the incorrect method, that a lot of people use it, 
you're probably going to just end up with that coating that feels weird for a while, but you're fine. Yeah. But if you'd use the proper method, which is what, what the is same thing for rubber cement, by the way, the way you actually are supposed to use super glue and rubber cement is not put the dab where you want to stick the thing and then stick the thing. You're supposed to put a dab on both sides of the surface that you want to connect to each other, let it dry a little bit, then put those two together. Ah, that's true. And holy fuck, it's so much stronger when you do that. Oh. And especially with rubber cement too. You rubber cement both sides and then stick it together. Your so hands, you're creating three bonds. You're creating a super fucking huge big bond. Big boy bonds. Well, because usually what'll happen is you get a dab of it on your hands. And right. then it dries and you get like a coat that doesn't go anywhere. For yeah, for like weeks. Yeah. <laughs> But no, you do it the proper way, and like, no, your finger is and now like, stuck. The the reason it falls off isn't because it gets old, it's because your skin cells that it's attached to die. die. <laughs> and then it, you eventually just get tired and tear it off, and it hurts a little bit. That's basically <sighs> it, yeah. But yeah, you gotta really be careful with that shit. Feels like don't super glue forever. your dick! Who, who I am would, telling you, I don't know. we cannot go to the far lands. Well, like, like if it's between world, that and like taking a fucking oh, knife to it, the far lands are a happy or one of those weird sounding rods. Way of keeping life interesting. Then, no, no. You talking about your Naruto shit again? Super glue your dick. Noise, what? Points. What? No. I'm talking about the, talking about the Pain Olympics. No, I'm good, man. You're scaring everyone, <laughs> no, thank you. And for good reason. I don't need any Naruto's today. The okay, well, at the very that's fine. The Sounding Village? Can we go back to, like, laboratory happier the times? Just like the vineyard? You, see it. Do those two never you remember the vineyard. I, am too I told to you care. about the vineyard. No kidding. I'm Wine starving. tasting. Wine tasting. Maybe we should turn back? This isn't the time. Come on. Swamps are too dangerous. I'm not... You never know what Yeah, you know. Around. It's how you taste wines. My Spit it? Stomach. The more well, aged the wine, great. the better. So you fill a glass of wine, a good red, a good red, maybe a Chardonnay. Oh, Perhaps man. some Pinot Noir. Oh, I forgot about this. And you take a dip. So this you could dip be our it. last you take chance a dip. to find food? And that's how you enjoy the wine. Oh. People are so goddamn weird. Man. The vineyard. That's... People would post about better wines, because some wines are better than others. You just had that part. Or you just... Hey, what... Hey. Look, man. Hey, what's going on? We're bored children in the year 2017. I'm 31, man. We're bored children. I... Arrested Halo, development. With me. We will never be not adults. Much, but it'll help. Not in the sense that... Our parents were adults, and definitely not in the sense that our grandparents. I was talking were to my girlfriend about this just like two days ago, because she, she recently uh, had her birthday, right? And I like, I feel like it was the great lie like that say, our parents' potatoes, generation potatoes played on us. That there's a, a, a threshold that, you pass. Because I, I vividly remember so many times in my youth. I should yeah. probably take what you'll I understand when you're group. older. You'll be more mature, exactly. and when you're an adult. And the way that it was portrayed yeah. was that there was a time or place or event in your life where it just happens that it would kind of come together yep. around this, you know, Which not all at once, yeah. but yeah. And Nothing I don't know ever anyone that that happened to at all. Look, I'm watching friends get married, and I could be, I could be, unlike. I mean, Matt got married. It didn't happen to him. He's not an adult. Of course, and I'm saying, and, and he has a car. And any of us could start paying around. mortgages any day any now. Any day now. Yeah, we're getting to that point where we're thinking about it. Right? We're actually thinking about it. And it's not going to make a fucking difference, man. It's just another thing to pay, and, they know and then those bills that come in, and those instead of instead of your rent, it's going to be my mortgage. And Forget instead of uh, but sure, but it's like go. more importantly, the emails about your mortgage are right next to your fucking Guys. Steam sale emails, Jesse, because that's all that is. Actually, and the, yeah, that that bulletin site that you're technically a part of, it's like, hey, we got hacked swallow. again. You need to save your change She's your here. password so you can look at your creepy pornos. There you go. I mean, look, right next to it. You know what's a really good, a really good, like, example? Oh, uh, okay, actually, Yeah, you this. probably have to do this. A pretty good example I can think of is, like, Jeff Gerstmann and the Giant Bomb Boys. Yeah. Where they're... They're, they're older than us a little bit. They're full-on adults at this point. More than a little bit. Well, they're, Jeff's older. They're all, they're all, like, a decade older than we are. 
No, not no, not some of them. Like Brad and and Dan Riker are like our age. Oh yeah. Yeah. Huh. And that freaked me the fuck out because I've been listening to that podcast for years and years and years, and, and always been like, that's a deadly combination. Oh yeah, oh, of these old guys. Yeah. And then, like, oh, it's my birthday, and he was like a year older than me. And I was like, oh, oh, oh I wasted so much of my oh, life. Oh jeez. Okay. Well, because Jeff got in so early because he dropped out of fucking college to do it back in like nine, eighty nine. Yeah, yeah, or yeah. Something. The, uh, the GameSpot uh, opportunity Just was nice and early. Back when it was video game the spot, right? Wall. But the rest I of the guys, no, they're about the same age as us. But they, they, they're kind of adults. So Vinny's got kids. When you hear them talking about stuff that is, like, not games. Yeah. Oh, it's like, okay, yeah, these are just adults. They became adults. Yeah. Like, oh, I'm gonna go down with the wife to the hardware store. Exactly, exactly. Guys, I and I did that when I first moved in, but I don't think, um... You know, wow. I don't think it's ever really gonna happen. Like, I recently went down with the girlfriend of the what Canadian Tire to get some furniture. Oh. Does that count? Yeah, IKEA I shopping. Guess, yeah, well, no, no, Canadian Tire shopping is different. It's like it's different. we're at the edge of the world. Actually, we seem to be at the corner of it. Yeah, I don't, I don't Welcome know. I don't think it's gonna happen. I don't think. Uh, you know, actually, I don't know if I wanted to. You know what? I think we might be wrong. I think we might be mistaken. And I think, I think we are maybe adults, maybe, if I wasn't still but we didn't notice it because it was so gradual. And the way that you tell that might be the saddest is that ever you talk to somebody who is like 22, yeah, and you're just, you're just fucking overwhelmed yeah, with the true. feeling of like, yeah, what are you, a fucking idiot? <laughs> At the same, yeah, that, that comes in heavy and yes. hot. At the same time, though, I have a very distinct chapter two. one and two. Oh, yeah. Uh, that a lot of Nobody people don't have, so I, I, this to me, I kind of... Oh, I, I have multiple chapters. I, my personality has changed dramatically in, like, four stages of my life. Of yeah. <sighs> there's a young... There's there's elementary school, high school, Sejep, which, which would be university, for, or, or, or college for you American folks, here. and then post. Well and those are all very... Clearly divided. Okay. Right. Like this Sage at Pat would be the kind of guy to go to. Just hey, will he want to play some Street Fighter? He's like, sure. And then I show up and drink a whole Come bottle on. of vodka. <laughs> right. And just fuck. And then you have to call my parents <laughs> to tell them that I'm dead. Well, I appreciate that. That's very kind. Right. Uh, current Pat would not Is do that. Okay. A maze. Uh, it would appear so. Yeah, I think I just go a from, one from the church boy to, uh, you know, not church boy. Yeah, well, those are the two, those are wider than any two gaps in any of my personality. But then there's a slight third one where it's like not church boy that doesn't feel guilty about it. Oh, you had the part where you're like, oh, no, dude, I told I told people this, but it's like to this day. When uh, certain types of foods, like like uh, like pork and yeah. things like that, I still feel weird. You're like I yeah, shouldn't be. No, Especially stuff like bacon. This. I've gotten used to because it's fucking great. But like weird, like certain seafoods and things where it's like there's that initial like, oh, this is wrong. You know, that you're like, still oh, kicks no, wait, in. wait, that's part of that stupid thing. Nope, it still kicks in. Damn. And that I realized that I ten years in, in, twenty years yeah, in, that's not going away. That is here for life, dude. I'm always gonna have a, a moment's hesitation on certain foods. Interesting. Flowers, but no trees. I don't know. I guess it's a farlands thing. Especially stuff like that I missed out on, like 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 stuff that's not particularly huh. great. Like for example, um, bologna is terrible. I don't like bologna. Bologna is terrible. I and the whole time I was a kid, I remember like people would get bologna sandwiches and stuff, and I'd be, be like, like, "Oh man, that's a type of meat I can't have." I'm not. I'm just not allowed to have the meat. What's that sandwich taste like? I don't know what it tastes like. And then when I was finally able to have it, I, I was like, "It's fucking terrible." <gasps> oh, I just get. He just gets. I it. just get fucking killed. So I was like, the big these. deal on guard. that you ever that was it's made in my brain about bologna turned out to be fucking nothing. <sighs> Turns out it was all bologna after all. Oh god, you fuck! Really? You're gonna, I know. You're I gonna know. do a whole segment on bologna. You're know. gonna do a whole fucking thing, and you're not gonna expect that Guys, fucking crap. The vines. You know. But then you then you get some other cold cuts, and you go, hey, that's not bad. A little bit of gabagool. I get some prosciutto, man. Prosciutto. I like that shit. A little bit of some good stuff. Turkey. I will say this though. 
I used to have a, well, like turkey bacon, and yeah, that shit is still good. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, still delicious. Turkey's great in nearly every form. Turkey Love bacon turkey. doesn't doesn't get enough enough play. But now what do we do? You know what's also separated. really good too. So I used to do this as a kid. And I'm, I'm remembering it now because I'm thinking about cold Let's cuts. Let's just head that way and find if you a place take, where the Oh, you know, like connect. a turkey cold cut, mm -hmm. and you nuke sure it. Sure, hope they don't get lost like, in there. Like absolutely microwave the absolute shit out of it. You nuke it not I till hope, you're I getting it get like smoked, but you nuke it till it's getting like hard around the edges. Okay, that's significantly nuked, right? Because it doesn't it doesn't take long though. It only takes like maybe thirty to forty seconds. But you nuke that shit, uh, and you, you you have a couple of those, and you basically get like a turkey chip, oh. and you can dip it, and you make like you get like a little like maybe like a cheese whiz dip. Or you know what I gotta say? This you get a turkey chip, and it tastes really good. You know what I hate? Uh, modern uh, fucking like the 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 microwave that I have right in my in my current apartment. Yeah, it's much stronger. Than the one in my parents' place, right? Because they have an older one. So the timers are inconsistent. Um, and I've noticed that microwaves over time have just become stronger. Yes. That sucks. You don't. Know I the time don't frame. want that. Yeah. It's way too easy to completely fuck something up in it. Have you ever gone back to a microwave that doesn't have a rotating uh, uh, plate? No. So I went back to one of those. That's and it was madness. so weird because That's it legitimately doesn't cook all your food. You have to spin the plate. That was a very, very <laughs> early invention. Yeah, in in microwave technology. And and I, and I had I also had a microwave where it, the, the plate stopped spinning. And I had that for a while before I replaced it. And it was like, same thing, gotta spin the food. Gotta spin it. Spin your fucking food, man. Rotate your... Rotate your it's saves. It's important that you... Hey. Rotate your... Rotate your life. Rotate your fish. You eat yeah. fish? Fish is okay. I don't personally like it all that much. Sushi's fine. Yeah, but do you eat it? Yeah, I'll eat I'll eat a fish. Do you buy fish? No. That's what I mean. Because, like, I'll, I'll, every, I'll, no one has a problem with I'll, fish. I'll buy and eat sushi. But I'm not, yeah, 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 I don't I'm mean not, sushi. I'm not sitting here going like, man, couldn't go for a real like slab of salmon right now. Because that's that's the thing is like, I, you know, like no one I know has a problem with fish, but no one buys. Fish. I think you have to be some kind of weird asshole to be like, fuck fish. Like in general, yeah. like I don't particularly care for seafood, but a nice fish, that's fine, Yo, right? And and the reason I say like you have to be a special kind of weirdo asshole is I'm insanely picky, but fish is like a much like. Not blander, but it's like a less intense flavor yeah, for than sure. most main seafood course meals. In, seafood in general. So, like, what? How? How fucking nuts? You're crazier than Pat. But like, think about that, motherfuckers. But like, wh how, like, how fucking good is a nice smoked salmon bagel with cream? Oh, cheese it's real good. After you haven't had one in a it's long time. It's extremely high quality. You know, go who the fuck is gonna turn go down out smoked to salmon? fucking uh, Saint Vietar Bagel, best bagel place in the world. Fucking gets a, a salmon bagel. Fucking, oh man! Unbelievable. So no, yeah, and no one's gonna turn that shit down, you know. And and smoked salmon like just beats lots of other regular. Uh, I will meat. completely agree. Smoked salmon is the absolute fucking shit. You know what the problem is? You buy some and you just start peeling at it. Yeah, I got that problem with smoked meat. You don't save it for your plates or for your for your meals. You just start peeling the pieces, like yeah. uh, like Tony Soprano. We get, uh, my dad, I forget where the fuck it is, there's this place, it's, it's kind of near Schwartz, but not really, but, uh, where it's just this fucking hole-in-the-wall butcher shop that does smoke meat. Olivia! Right? Ah. And... <laughs> it's the best fucking smoked meat in the world. And I say that because smoked meat is kind of unique to fucking Montreal. And it's not Schwartz. And it's the best smoked meat. It's better than Schwartz. What the because fuck it's a, is it's a, place? It's a butcher shop. It does not, like... Like what the fuck is this place then? I forget. I'll, I'll fucking I'll I will ask my dad, and fucking, and I will tell you where it is. That's crazy. Um, Woo. and you'll get like a fucking pound of the shit. You know, you'll yeah, just yeah, get like charcuterie, a, charcuterie. You'll, yeah, yeah, yeah. you'll get you'll get fucking tons of it. Because that's how you you have to buy it by the way. Yeah, and then you'll you'll be like, okay, I'm gonna make some sandwiches with this. No, you're not. Fuck you. You're gonna, it's gonna be like three in the morning, you know, and you're gonna be like, you know what? I could go for a slab of some fucking marbled ass smoked meat. And 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 when they when they hand it to you, they give you a fucking pickle with it. Yeah. And I was like, I appreciate the culture here, but get that shit out of my. I face. don't like a pickle. 
I, I don't. I enjoy pickles in general, but I don't care. I, for I, them I view a pickle meat. as a form of ruined cucumber. Wow, pickles are not bad. They're fucking awful. I don't mind them, but I just don't want them with my. Meat I, I have an thing. I have an extreme hatred you of vinegar. You have to be in the mood for it. You have to be in the mood for it. Right. And with my extreme hatred of vinegar, that makes pickles kind uh, of poisonous. Oh, doubled eggs, not gonna cut it. Hell no, get the fuck away from me. Yeah, all right, that's fine. Huh. But blocks, you must like vinegar. You must like um, uh, 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 vanilla. Supposed to be. Vanilla's okay. Vanilla extract Hello. is is, is uh, vinegar. Anyone? Olivia, and, uh, is that you? And uh, vanilla leaf. Yes, there you are. You can make it. Well, I certainly don't taste the vinegar in there. <laughs> you take a bottle full of I vinegar, and you just dip you. a... a, a a vanilla leaf in it. Vanilla is an insanely strong flavor. And you just and you just create a giant bottle of extract. You don't have to say anything. You're thinking exactly. Oh, because the vinegar I'm like it breaks just, it down it on just, the outside yep, and yeah. it turns this right maze? into it. We don't have time for this. Man, I really want some smoked meat. Yeah, but you. you it's you it's know. Know. like pastrami, but it's not pastrami. <laughs> don't uh, don't have it too often, though. The clock's ticking here, I'll be honest. I don't even it's know the what, reddest of red meat. I don't even know what animal smoked meat is made out of. I don't really care. <laughs> it's the reddest of red meat. If that fucking it's, it's, place it's came cow. out and told me that it was human, I wouldn't give a shit. It's cow. It's cow. It's probably cow. It's easier to get. But yeah, we got plenty of cows out here. Once a week, huh? What about this thing? Could it get us across? What now? Once a week, red meat. It's some kind of flying okay. barge. It would probably get Excuse us. Excuse me, to while I side. crack my arthritic joints. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah just, you know, keep it, keep it and chicken. Really keep it light. I've switched over to nearly, and then, and then switch over to switch over to, to pork or, or beef meat. once a week. Yeah, that's that is actually pretty much what I do. Because I wish I'd had more time. Giving up chicken. If, they, if somebody said to me, "Okay, you got to give up red meat and chicken," I'd be like, she "Fuck you!" Right I, I guess and, I'll, uh, I guess I'll just die. Then. I guess I'll just die. <laughs> I'll take a look. Yeah. Like, yeah. If I had to just yeah. eat chicken the rest of my life as as sense. the primary what whatever, thinking? fuck it, I'll live. Chicken's great. I was really happy when I found out that chicken was healthy because I was like, "God damn it!" So well, I mean, chickens are maybe it's just filthy. But I mean, and like, the meat on its own, when it's like, lean chicken is good, engineer. you know? Like, filthy she to the right, point where it's the only meat, it. like, you, you cannot undercook that shit, you will die. I yeah. might as well be uh, a carrot farm. But I remember just hearing about, like, uh, like, Opie from ONA would talk about, Don't like, his dad, you, you know, his dad is, like, getting old and sick, and the they're like, you can't, you can't eat ever. red meat anymore, it, it's going to destroy your heart. And he would, like, suffer for, like, maybe two months, and then just be like, I, I, just Fuck I'm gonna eat this. Fuck it. And they're it. like, what are you? And he's How like, no. The one no, listen to me. Ten steaks. I and I'm choosing to eat throat. this. <laughs> and they'd be like, okay. Doesn't remember his own name. You know? And he just kind of, yeah, yeah, and apparently, like, respect. you know, a little bit towards the end, he was just and like, yeah, man. I just, I just want to, I want to enjoy what I have. You know? Well, I mean. And what can you say to that? What can you say to a man that's like, I want a steak. And I know, if the order but I want it. This, how are we supposed to? Who are you to deny? You attach electrodes to the stake. Oh, how are geez. we supposed to do anything? So the thing is, is that no there. What if you could be immortal, but you had the to drink of the oatmeal slush? I mean, sludge. They defeated an enemy. And you can oh, only I mean, consume can oatmeal sludge. I, I, let, let's let's uh, let's take it let's take it back a notch. When I was in the hospital with locked. my problem, they come in that actually with. A fucking five liter jug of chemical. Yeah. I can't eat And they go, drink this. Then again. And I go, how much? And they say, drink this. Oh, wow. And I'm like, are you serious? Or like, this is the best thing for ah, this. Wow. It's right. what they use. They give it, it they give it to, to fucking uh, people that need surgery. Uh, on there, she's like, no, this will, this will fucking flush the fu everything. Wow. Right. Okay. And I take a glass, a and I, I almost vomit straight away. Mm -hmm. It is, Jesse, take it this is, crafted into a sticky it looks like water, it on the other mm -hmm. side of the but it's not. It's, block. it is a, a, it is like a powder that? that you fill it up with I like three or four liters so. of water, and just like and a then, and then, of, yeah, and okay. it is fruit flavored. And the reason why it's fruit flavored is because it has. I, I can tell underneath the overpowering, disgusting fruit flavoring like, that it is hiding something really crazy. 
but I can't quite put and my because the aftertaste is like poisonous, bitter. Yeah, it's it's really really bitter. Mm -hmm. But more than that, it's the texture. The te it's like syrup. Oh, water syrup. Yeah. Oh man, that sounds horrible. And oh shit. Show sure recipes. Show recipes. Is this what I want? Is that what I wanted? Oh, what else? What else? Sticky piston. There you go. <laughs> yeah. And then under the bot. Yeah. Is that what I Wrong box. Yep. I did it. Now what happens then? I got I got halfway through it. Okay. And well, first of all, five liters is it's crazy. That's madness. It's dude. That's madness. They're like, no, you will be. You need to. The idea is that it is your stomach is so full that it forces its swell in your intestine. Like you are actually filling up your uh. entire digestive tract. Right? So you can consume five liters as far as like... Well, the problem... Well, I can't. Okay. Because I got like three liters in. Yeah, and two giant and Coke bottles. And then, the and then took... It's crazy. And took like one more gulp, and then that gulp... It hit the liquid down my throat. Right, right, And right. then came right back up. Yeah. And it's like, I'm actually physically limited right now. Yeah. Like, there, there's... There is no place for this hey, to go Olivia. right now. Right, you put the right, block right. and piston on the bar jet? But no. it, uh, texture. Well, this thing won't start it's them. more important for your food right than it. most people realize. Well, it's funny because my girlfriend doesn't care about taste as much as she cares about texture. Yeah. And there's okay, a lot of food where she'd be like, I can't eat this. I'm like, but it's delicious. It's like, I get the textures off. Yeah. And I'm like, I don't give a fuck about texture. I've never really given a fuck about texture. You don't give a fuck about texture until it's, until it's until bad. Until it's bad. Until it's bad. And then you're like, oh. oh. But yeah, what I want to know is, can you suffer through that for the sake Holy of immortality cow, and never it. eat anything delicious we need again? Flint and steel to get it started. Just full on, hey, drink, uh, drink the soylent equivalent, and you Thanks can't even have water. And you can <sighs> only drink this. this so the question water. isn't whether or not you would take the deal, because everyone would take the deal. No problem. Right? The question is, is would you be able to maintain? Yeah. And the answer for me way. is no. Run! I don't have the... So look at that glitch. Could you do it for a while and then give up? Yes. Come on, come Now, how on. long that while happens to Quick, be... onto the barge! I don't know. I'm the kind of person who will fail hard at willpower-based <laughs> tasks when it involves, <laughs> like, sugar. Mm. I have a legitimate addictive problem with mm. sugar. That was that one was weird because it was way easier for me to kick sugar than it, I thought it would be. My my family. Like, like, honestly, you okay? do it long enough and it just stops. My the my uh, being uh, uh, my mom Didn't has the same thing, the and like so does my grandma. Like everybody on that side of the family has like an absolute vicious <clears throat> sweet tooth. So does does do you what? get teeth? Stop All of us though, nonsense. ironically, because we're aware. <laughs> do you get that thing where your mouth no, no, starts I'm to positive. get like dry if you, you don't have something sweet? Yeah. Okay, that thing is the only reason why to me it would be really really hard because the rest of like the feeling of just like oh man I really want something like that you can get past that by just fighting it right the, the mouth stuff is really weird and awkward but if you just power through it like me and Mio helped me a lot listen Mio helped me a lot but it took a about two and a half to three weeks. All I'm saying. And then I had none of those oh, anymore. That I'm thinking of starting to shoot heroin. <laughs>